Okay, so for the final part of this, I gotta... Okay, go back to the state data pool. I need to get stuff other than this. I need to be... I need the ability to get items that were inserted. So I do have this, which is kind of what I'm looking for, but not really. And I need to be able to go through the items here as well for... Remo yeah, okay. Um... <clears throat> How do I exactly do I want to do this? Like, is there like, is there, okay. What if hmm, there's a begin? Okay. What uh, I can, I can iterate through. What if I return to iterator? So auto like uh, begin, uh, no accept, auto C begin. Const, no accept. Uh, this returns like main storage dot begin. Main storage dot c begin. There's reverse ones I don't really care about. do something similar for both inserted and removed okay at least for the removed ones that I can just like uh, prefix with RM easily enough RMC end or do like Hmm. No, I'll do it the other way and C R M and C R M begin. Hmm. And we'll have something similar here. Unfortunately, not entirely on board with this one. Hmm. Okay, skip inserted for the moment. Let's get these ones done. So this is RM's M removed. So if I was here, let's do a new test case. So we're gonna do temp dot insert. Do these two again. We'll do them in reverse order. Because I wonder if they actually stay in order or not. See if I can do this. So it is in order again. So that can work. I iterate right up and then it goes to the second. So it is. Hmm. 
interesting. Uh, check that iterator not equals require that one otherwise check are in increasing order. Okay. And then Check iterator equals and iterator. Okay. Then we can check check for removals. Uh, well, test temp dot remove one. basically do the same thing. But instead, and put these in out of order as well. Begin CRM end. Okay. And Okay. 
That leaves one more <clears throat> interesting one, just here. Now, how do I... Okay, what I can do for this is under the insert pass, where is it? Here it is. After we've done that, <clears throat> after we've inserted all these items, we can, we instead Type name. Okay. Give this one a go. So we can just run through again quickly to find get the iterators for it. Now that things have been resolved at this point, because by the end of the insertion, we're no longer changing the main storage. So iterators we have. Let me double check how map. Okay, let's say at logarithmic in the size of, of the container. Okay. Oh, that's a reference. So let's go with begin. See, begin in that. Returns an iterator to the end. Try to find out if uh, it's like if I add or remove items, does the iterator insert element? No iterators or references are invalidated. If the insertion is successful, pointers and references to the element obtained while well, it is held in the node handle are invalidated. Pointers and references obtained to that element before it was extracted become valid. What? Okay, what about in place? No iterators or references are invalidated. Okay, so I can actually, uh, this, does this return? It returns a standard pair. Insert. If I do insert, that returns an iterator that I can then pass off. So m um, inserted iters equals or uh, dot pushback. Inserted iter iterators will also be cleared out. When we do this, Let's make sure that this is also reserved. Hmm. Okay. Uh, publicly, we get inserted. Nah. In begin. And, and, 
const const sc and hmm. That doesn't really extend the const to the item it points to, though. That is, OK, whatever. I just want to make sure that this is basically the same thing. Um, hold on. Am I screwing this up? One to three inserts a value. Hold on. Okay, uh, that's not then. Let's do that. Okay. less nice right now. That's something that works. Rename this to map template. And then I'll see, because I want to do a comparison based on this compared to this other system that I'm going to try to make. Because I need to have a comparison to see if I'm making an improvement or just wasting my time. So this is based on map template. OK.
Okay. <clears throat> so, do copy. Do I want to copy? Change that to map. Make sure we're good. Copy. Paste. Call it the alloc instead. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So alloc template. Let's close this one up so don't accidentally. So, <clears throat> first one. I'll keep it. I'll keep the insertion to the map for the moment. What I really care about is this. So we'll include. Yeah, I already have it here. Those two, main storage. We don't actually have those. Not that I really care about these quite yet. And we need to change this up to alloc. Changing. The size, hmm. The allocation storage doesn't actually have the size. It only has the capacity. So what I'm thinking we're going to need. Can I have this in the side? Like that. Have to store. I'll return that instead. Starts at zero. Do something similar to this. Except rather than that, it's hmm. Tuple element. The tuple types of these. That what we want to return is storage dot get index. Like that right? No. Yes. And 
do that. We kind of do the same thing for ending. Hmm. Okay. Insertion is still the same on the old map. Insert pass is the really interesting one. Hmm. Okay, what's going to have to happen is I'm going to do... Do I want to do this in like one or two pass? I'm going to want to do this in two passes. Because I don't want to have to like insert one element at a time and then keep like, like a vector where I would keep having to like move a bunch of items up or down for each individual ones. I want to like go through, find out where each one goes in one pass, move all those things once and insert the our items once. So, mm, not sure how to do this quite yet. Hmm. I need iterators, so standard map, uh, pro ID, state type. A pair of these, so state type plus a size T, which is going to be like the ending destination offset, I guess. Or no, no, yeah, yeah, I need both of them. Source de destination offsets. All right. Can I do something to prune the insertion list right now? They're already in order. Maybe best to keep them that way. Can't do the range because that's just going to point to the elements, isn't it? 
or some or to a weird para thing. <sighs> Put this in a subscope. Insertion iterator, insertion iterator. Insertion end iterator, that makes a bit more sense. And then we have auto, we can just get zero of here really. rather begin m main storage dot get zero Pointer to the ID equals that. So what I want to get is offsets. Hmm. How do I do this? For okay, the outer loop, outer loop is iterator. Insert iterator. Already have that. Insert iterator. This is a map, so there's only one of each key available, anyways. Okay, so we have several cases. If um, p id equals p end id, then that means we just got we're we're adding it at the end anyway. So. No, 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 no. While PID not equal and ID and the item pointed to P ID is less than in 
it dot first. Increase PID. We're not quite there yet. next destination placement. So here, Insertion of this element, so we go plus plus in iterator. We continue from here. So this this goes to the next destination, or the end of the list entirely. Then we put this, and then okay. Next, if I don't have to worry about duplicates, so I don't need to do that. Not for the map, but for the other, if I switch over this type, I will. At this point, it is not already in storage. And is unique. So it is to be added. So yeah, we'll then add it to source destination offsets. Place back where the first item is the iterator. That. And the other item is where we are. So, hmm. Actually, oh, auto that const uh, p.
is a lot of stuff. So it equals p it iterator id minus p begin id. Of course, it's probably going to complain about that. Oh, the CPP. Okay. Okay, that's good. I don't really need to actually test, I just need to make them. Hmm. It's good. Okay, so once I have this, if source destination offsets is empty then we could just skip out So what I need to do is if main storage dot capacity is less than stored plus uh, source destination sets out size. size or min size new minimum size equals that new min size we already have new min size so we get the new storage the new capacity of new min size. Now, ooh, now I need to deal with moving these things around in memory. Especially since they're not together. It's not like a standard pair where they're all kind of together in memory or one cohesive thing. Like they're in separate pieces of. Ah, oh, they're sitting around wildly in memory. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need 
two items, two private items for common. Leave right sync. Uh, I need like the ability to in place. Single in place. Single move. Copy. Okay. Index equals zero. We're gonna to have to go through this weird thing. Void single in place. Which is the mm, pool storage type, which I'm gonna to have to like equals this. That. So we got this. Going to take in pool storage, the destination, because we're just putting one item in. No, no, no. Well, yes. Okay, what do I need? I need to in place a single item. I need to do s moving of sing of single object, single move. I need to do a multi move. A single delete and multi delete. So I can do things in memory, like in sequential order, if possible. Yeah. Okay, uh, the one I care about right now is a multi-move. For this. So what I'm going to have to do is, yeah, I think so. So we do this, then we'll do like a multi-move. What are we going to take in? It needs to take in the the source, which is right now M main storage. It will take in the starting place, the ending place. Offsets, starting and ending offsets. New store. Probably what? Oh, starting at zero in the destination. Yeah. Okay. So multi move is the one I care about right now. So separate that out a little bit. Whoop. Template Meet index equals zero, it starts at zero, always does. Like that. Okay. If const expression index equals zero, then we're going to do the first one specifically for IDs. Because I'm not actually, I'm, these aren't news, these are malloc's and freeze. So, const star.
Okay, so I can get the first, get the start. M main storage dot get. Okay. Index. Um, or rather, source. Auto star. Star. It starts like that, All right? We have the count. Or rather, it equals that plus start offset. Where's mem copy come from? Destinations or size in, and it comes from where? String, C string. Um, C reference, C string. So destination, so it's what? Destination start. P source start. And it's count times size of ID. Okay. Else, now we're getting into the interesting ones. Okay, here's something else that I'm thinking of. Is since I'm already add, since I've already split uh, this to accept multiple types, I'm thinking I can do the same thing here, where I can accept like like hot and cold data, keep them in separate uh, but contiguous sets of memory, so that I can maybe pack hot uh, data even tighter in certain specific cases. So I can, and if I do this early enough, like if I do this right now, it'll be easier than trying to retrofit something that's only designed for one later. Uh, as much as I absolutely despise it, I think I will actually do that right now. And change this to components.
component data allocation pool or, or something like that. Uh, that leaves this would be like well, this. Okay. That's going to make a whole lot of these things off. Mm. Not permitted here. Really. Really? Why not? All of a sudden, I don't need template. Really? Okay. I'll take that. It gets more complicated. You don't need the template anymore. Now it's super obvious what you're doing. Compared to before, when there was only one. <sighs> yes. Um. Maybe variadic templates, variadic templates. Show me the way. Um, it's after. Oh, okay. Uh, this is going to need a change. I'll leave that to be an error for now. Mm, okay, map. Are you sure you even work like that? And I don't think you will. Put that off to the side for the moment. What? Now you want template again? Why? Okay. Okay. Pool store. Really? Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think this will actually build right now. It shouldn't. What? Uh, okay. I guess it does build for now. Okay. Okay, back to multi-move. And doing the extra hard work. Uh, okay, we... We're uh, indexed type. Index type, index type, here we go. So it starts with uh, foe ID, components, Type equals this. OK. 
that'll make things a little bit easier. Just replace these. Duple type. Bam. Hmm. Is that the public as well? Oh. Yeah, okay. Place this one. Okay, I have the index type. So that means now I'll need to do uh, that really weird uh, new type where you have to do like an in place new. New expression. Oh, get out of the way. Placement parameters type. Placement new. Here we go. Okay. Otherwise, it becomes new. Uh, this point. No, I'll have to. No, because I'm doing it in an array. I have to go through like multiple, right? So I do, I'd, I'd need these ones again. I need these for basically. This is the same no matter what index we have. P source start, P destination start. Based on that. Plus count. Okay. We have those, even if we're not going to be using all of them quite. So this one, we have that while P Oh, not quite. P data, P data end. Let's do it that way. P that. Get rid of these. So P data, P destination data. Then here we're going to, have to do the same thing, but we're going to have an extra auto const star. That doesn't really matter. P data end. Not equals P data end. Then we have to go through, we have to go through new. P data plus plus no in the P destination data plus plus equals uh, index type with the standard move of star P data plus plus. Okay, and then last component type go deep. 
her uh, cost expression. Index not equal to the size of the components. Then we gotta do multi move for index plus one, and that should, in my mind, it'll much like the other, uh, like when we did this here, it'll all collapse down after compilation into a nice compact something or other. P source start offset count P destination. Destination offset. Okay. Is that build? Yes. Is there more ways to probably? out performance probably like if I can do like if move constructible or is if copy constructible or if it's a trivial data type then I could just do mem copy again but I don't know that right now I'm not gonna bother with that complicated stuff quite yet but the option is there Okay, let's see if I can actually collapse this down in, let's open up uh, God Vault. So I wanna see if my idea holds right now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, copy this. Okay, there's nothing to do quite yet. With the template of that. Okay. Nothing to do quite yet. Compilation failed. Oh, yeah. Pool store equals something. Uh, includes system def. Components is whatever. Uh, Then we are going to change this up a little bit to be like this. Yippee. Do that, do that, and do that. Okay. We good? We good. Okay, cool. Um has to be a way for me to actually make this happen. Uh, hold on a second while I flip through some old code because I know somewhere I have the ability to, no, no. Ah, there we go. I can instantiate one of these. Uh, 
got some state data uh, walk pool like this. Just leave all this public. That's not going to instantiate anything. Cute. Test pool. So I want to do multi move between source zero ten destination zero or just source that. No? Why? Why not? Sorry, what? Can I just kind of put this down here? Thank you. Ooh, crap, yeah. Um, okay, I need the uh, storage. Do, 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 do. Main storage. That publicly, right there. Uh, let's see, 132. C, uh, string. Okay. Mem copy. Right? No. Yes. Is this no matching function for call operator new size type unsigned int? No, no conversion argument two. What? That's a pointer to it, right? That's a... Zero, one. Okay, what if it's just nothing? Does that compile? Yeah, that compiles fine. Um... Yeah, it's a bunch of stuff and then that, whatever. So we can't 
compiled there. Okay, and then if we like go to dash o two, like it compiles down to basically nothing. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's re-add a second item. So we'll take a struct test. We'll do a struct rather than an individual type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I must have misread how uh, standard new works. Operator new, CPP. Uh, there. Bam. Uh, we have a whole bunch. This is a different new. Is there like a special include I have to bring? No. Okay, for one thing, actually. Oh, no, no. P data and P destination data are auto incremented. I don't have to worry about that. Um. No, I don't want to increment. I want the pointer thing and then increment. Yeah. Is it like, no. Okay, what is with this? Am I misreading how this works? Okay, do I have to do index one will be components zero? Yes. What is with this align val t? Where is this coming from? I swear p data plus plus is index zero one two from p source, which is a pool store, which is yes, u and thirty two that. What if I What if we also do this for number 0? Hmm? What happens? Is it die on the first one? Maybe, I don't know. Give it a test. Yes, it does. And sign into OK. 
Okay. Um, Just do like new that it is of type uh, index type. Am I missing something? Like, am I supposed to have like what? There's nothing saying that these are like okay. Since eleven, okay. Since seventeen, okay. What? Okay, okay, okay. And then if we add test here, it's f fine. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It's because of the size of components, right? Oh no 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 no, this will be right. If it's not equal to like five, so it goes zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that would be right. But no, 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 because that just does that. It doesn't actually build in the other one. And then this C plus plus twenty just does the same thing. Very interesting jump. Get rid of the O2. So we do tuple zero, multi move one. Here we go. Now we're in multi move one. We do this, then we do this, then we do this. Yeah, now we're down here. Then we do the per this right here. Th this works right here. I don't know, but it compiles here, right? Yeah. What do I have for C++? I have 20. Is it a is it a GCC issue? 
Clang 1101. No, he's dying to the same thing. I guess that's just a new thing in C20 that just allows this to work. Uh, really? Are you kidding me? Standard sort is not part of. We didn't invent sort until like last year. Or is it just the specific one for the random iterator we didn't invent? Or is this just because I'm not even here yet? No, because it'd be the same thing on the other one, the map one, yeah. Okay, cancel that for the moment. Cool. Falls fine. Okay. Whatever. It may be a quirk of just online stuff. Back up to 20. When we go into oh, 2, it files down very nicely to just that. No, something is very wrong here. It's only doing M copy for that. Okay, I need to come. I need to complete more of this to see if it's actually doing what I think it's supposed to or not. So, not map. No, oh, actually, uh, reopen. Dang it. Okay, bring it up to C20. Wonderful. I was doing multi move, I was doing this. So obviously I'm going to have to actually have a deeper look at that one. I was doing insertion. I don't, okay, uh, yes. Multi move. Okay, we're resizing. Uh, M. Main storage equal equals, yeah, equals new store. Now that everything's been moved over already, we just uh, use the standard move on this. Okay. Now, for the, this next interesting part is, 
I have the offsets of where I'm putting things. And there's a good chance I'm going to have to insert things like in middle or in different parts. So I need to pre-expand this. Okay, okay. We'll have the last moved item is then stored. Accumulated distance equals the number of items we're adding. So destination offset so size. Source iterator equals they're going in reverse order. Well, true. We'll do a bunch of stuff and then we'll decrement source destination iterator. Second, is it a pair? It's a pair. Okay, source destination iterator second, we're going to reuse this item, is going to equal accumulated distance minus one. It's got a whole lot of if given offset, last moved all item. Last moved old item. Objects and we shift them up. Got to move that gear up. Plus accumulated distance. We're here. And we need him to move up accumulated distance, which is the number of items that we are inserting in total. And that accumulated distance is decremented as we insert items moving backwards. Okay. Yes, I can do this. I think I can do this. I hope I can do this. Number to move equals the last moved old item minus the given offset. 
is the last moved item to now. Yes. Multi move. This is where it comes in handy again. So in, in regular or uh, main storage. Source. Uh, now move. Uh, and main storage again. Uh, destination offset. We're moving it inside the same thing, just shifting them over. Ooh. Wait. What if they're overlapping? What if they overlap? That's going to be... Mm. I'd have to do it in reverse order, wouldn't I? Would I? Hmm. Figure it out later. Remove that. Okay. Way. Place the entry now. Multi move that one, so actually, no. Ooh, yeah, how do I do this? Because right now it's a map. Um. This is where the single move thing is going to come in handy. Okay. Single move. Single move. Or single in place. Single in place. Single in place. Okay, so it's going to be pool store, P store uh, destination. They'll have a size T for destination index. Inside of, yeah, inside of here. ID, ID and then we have the components. And we'll need to do the template index equals zero nonsense all over again. This expression. So P destination data goes here plus destination offset let's just make that one super easy since we know it's a safe type for the moment and I could probably fold it in once I kind of do more optimizations without doing this kind of business otherwise I need the index type again. And we'll have to do this.
standard git index minus one of this thing, which we're standard, which we're going to forward as a tuple. Yes. It's not complaining. I like that. Of and then we've got to go down through the other types. So p destination, uh, destination offset, id, and the components like that. So yeah, because we're not changing uh, the parameters, so we can we. Mm, Mm, something, something, good idea, maybe. I mean, I could do a single move, but like a multi-move just kind of handles it fine as well, really. I mean, it would just be like slightly shorter like this. You know what? I'll just do it right now. Just do it right now. Count. It'll be just slightly easier because we're not going to have this while loop. Ah, really? Yeah. Save it until I know what I'm doing. Better. Okay, I was single in place. I was, I was doing single, single in place for a reason. I was doing single in place for this here. Okay, everything's written, shifted out of the way. Hmm. Now we now we in, in place it. In, in, in storage at the point, which is the, is it the given offset? Yeah. And then we have to do the ID, which will be actually, no, I don't even No, I would have to, yeah. Um, source, destination, iterator is the first dot or eh. and it's an iterator. Otherwise, we got to do source destination iterator of first again. Why was I modifying second? I was going to do something with it. I've lost it. Oh, I was going to put it here. Yes, at this point. Okay, yeah, that was that uh, dot second. Let's stand and move these things. Then move that. Ooh, that does. I don't. We added an item. T 
fifth. For that, while well, source destination iterator not equal source destination offsets dot r and n plus plus source destination iterator. Okay. Then at the end. Inserted list. Oh boy. Um, Watch as it just doesn't work, or does. Am I even building this file? Come on. Ah, uh, no, I'm obviously not. Okay. Yeah, we're not. Whoops, that's why everything's going, been going way too easily. None of this is supposed to work anyways quite yet. Does it compile? The answer is no. Of course not. Why would it? Never would. Not on the first go. Uh, this... None of this does a thing. Anyways. Not, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. No member named RM begin in standard vector. Does a vector not have RM begin? Please explain. Why would I not be able to go backwards? You're joking. Oh, it's R. Oh, it's... Yeah, of course. It's R. Not RM. Jeez. Okay. Next, uh, this not equal other. How do I do? Do I not know how to do constructors? And other. Yeah, that makes sense. It's going to do the same thing here somewhere. There. Okay, next. No matching to what is this? Hmm. 
and a metric member function call for single in place. Okay. Size T, ID, and the components. Do I have to like standard move them? No, standard move wouldn't work. Forward, like I'm forwarding the just the raw thing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Like I forwarded as tuple here. So that means standard forward. I want to forward it as the exact same type I got it as. So it's components and then dot 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 that. Yes. Yeah, very addict templates, very consistent. Okay. Now watch as this complete, um, just completely and utterly falls apart. Okay, it's it's just gonna like we're just gonna have an address issue right out the gate, right? Do I actually have the address sanitizer on? Yes, I do. Okay, show me the errors of my way. Many errors of my way. Oh, it's trying. Oh, okay, it's trying. Oh, well, it's on the right one. F five. Run it. Oh. Uh, that's wrong. There's no way that I inserted two items. There's no way I didn't have something no way. Okay, uh, close that. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I already got that open there. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we have? Do we have... C begin and C end. So I can try. Okay. Okay, and then we have auto star for data plus temp dot c begin for one. Iterator not equals n id end. Star or uh, data that dot val equals that.
now we should actually have an error as it this is there's no way this is in the right place Okay. Okay. Good. Something didn't happen correctly. That reassures me. So, let's actually get through the process of what went wrong. Hmm? Clear, clear. Remove, insert, pass. Interesting. Let's go. Do, do, do. Source destination offsets. Great. This is empty, of course, right? Yes. Uh, there's nothing to insert. Okay. Nothing to insert. Why? Why, why, why? Why is insertion empty? Insert. Insert. Okay, what is it? What, what's, what's going on here? I'm providing ID. I'm providing components. I move past, and I have that. Great. Come back around. I have that. Great. I come back to maintenance. Did the insert pass? Great. Here. Now it's to insert is both of them. Good. Oh, oh, yes. I see. I'm using the wrong he one here. Okay. Okay. Next issue. Sorry? Okay, it, it, it got stuck in a loop forever. Great, uh, because because of this. Right, because of the because of this right here, I need to increment on my way out. It's, yeah. Ah, okay. Stack overflow. Or unknown right. Nice. I need to deal with the case where there's nothing already there. Right? Or do I, really? Because that'll just be, I am inserting at point zero. Mm -hmm. So that's fine, actually. Okay, we're here. Source, to, uh, it's not. We've got two items. We're inserting one and two in this order. We have a new min size of two, new storage, we're moving nothing, so it doesn't matter. Um, 
yeah, that makes sense. And buffers is now two items. Good, 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 good. Last moved items is M stored because there's nothing there. Accumulated distance is two. Okay. So this is currently looking at Wait, R begin. R begin ends at. Actually, begins at the end position instead of like end minus one. No, 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 no. It should be. Yeah, no, no, no. It's shifted over by... Yeah. So this should be a real item. It should be pointing out a real item right now. Okay, what is current? What What is... Because this is what's... Sorry, where is source destination iterator? There it is. I don't know then. Okay, so it's no, it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Second. We decremented that by one. Because I was going to use this here. We don't need to move or anything, so we're just going to emplace this in position one, offset one. Come on, let me in. No. Okay. We're uh, doing a destination offset one from these M buffers. Uh, 17, 17, 10 is the destination of one of these, right? No, that's way off. What the hell? Oh, that's the po that's the value it points to. If I actually get p destination data, it's d fourteen. Okay, no, that's d fourteen. So that's um, come on. Yeah, it's that one up by four. Okay, no, no, that's right. Then we go deeper one. And then we die. Bigger time. I passed the same destination in, right? That's what we got. Same thing. Destination offset of one. Okay. We're still on full ID of two. Components. I'm not even at components yet. I'm still. What? Two 
tuple type is zero one. So this is index one. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm not incrementing the index here. Of course. I need to increment the index to get to the second type. Nice. Okay, first type. Wonderful. Go in. Second one. Second type. Wonderful. 34. Because we're all shifted up by four bytes. Yes. And the second one is at the exact same spot again. Yes. 30, 34. Okay, we do this. Okay, we carry on. And there's no leaks? Are you kidding me? I'm smiling so much right now. I cannot believe this. Cannot conceive of this. Okay. Okay. I need a quick break. It's two hours. This is by far the hardest part of this whole thing. So, quick drink. Be right back. Okay. I'm back, and what was I doing? I was doing stuff with insertions, probably still. Um, deletions. I need to do deletions. As well as I need to the ability to access... Uh, I don't really need that. I can move that over. I need the ability to access those that were inserted. In begin, see in begin, yeah, these things. Now, right now, this is useless. I need a size T type, rather. It's going to be inserted, insert offsets. Nope. So it's that, 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 and that. Inserted offsets. That's how we're going to do it. <coughs> inserted offsets equals reserve of that. Go down here, and instead it's this. And then I want to reverse it when I'm done. So, first, second. It's at this point. Why do I have this? Why couldn't I just use given offset? No, given offset is the point I am. Given offset. Um, hmm. No, no, yeah, that would make sense. Okay. I think for the moment. Okay, I got to deal with removals. So we're going to have a bunch of items that we're going to remove. I want them to be sorted. That still makes sense. Uh, removed storage. Okay. Do I want to do them as a map or do I want to have them as like uh No, no, no. I'll have it as 
this kind of starch as well. So let's actually change that up. like this and we need a size T for M removed And then I'd have to go through and uh, clear out removed items as well, wouldn't I? Okay, this is where the multi-delete is going to come into play, right here. So, multi-delete. Let's... Well, first of all, it'll have to be this type again. Make things easier on myself. We'll take in the pool storage. Oh, pool store, not storage. Starting at offset, we'll have size T count number of items being removed. If there's nothing to actually do for this one. Else, I've got to do the others. And then before I lose it, I want to do this. Multi delete, P store, offset, count, index type plus one. Okay. We have the index type. Template get on the index plus offset. No, that. Destructors indexed type. And that should be that. Is there a reason to do it for a single type? I mean, it's basically the same thing as this. Again, same thing with like multi move, single move. I can just do counts of one for the moment. And it's not quite as compact and quick, but. Whatever. For the moment, it will work.
Okay, uh, we did this. New pass. Oh, uh, yes, I was clearing. This. This, comma, the offset of zero, and remove. Okay. Now for the remove pass. We have the items to remove. We got them there. We're going to have to, um, we're going to, have to prepare the side, the blah, 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 blah. We need to make sure we have enough capacity for removal. For removal. We've already cleared it, so we don't actually have to worry about anything like that. So M, if to store Capacity is less than M remove or two remove dot size move of a new store of the new size to remove dot size. Okay, because we already cleared it beforehand. Okay, then we've got to go through these. Okay, that does make sense. But I need to go through regular storage. So auto star p no p id get the first one. That makes sense. We'll just do this just to be super clear about things. Equals P const. P ID dot. Do I not have like a end from this maybe? Or do I just have the simple git? Yeah. Oh, that actually makes sense. Plus M stored. We're going to have to do the, the weird thing. Size T, last moved object, equals zero. OK, so as I move, what am I going to do? I'm going to start from the beginning, and then I'm going to run, iterate through forward. Because after I, uh, I OK, I can do this <clears throat> as I go. I can remove something and move these objects back. So I'm only removing everything at most once. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I can do this without excessive movements.
Okay, we're gonna move iterator equals two remove dot begin. well because I don't actually I'm not changing these while PID not equals PID end and so if PID Less than star um, iterator. Continue. Continue the search. found one yeah we found one okay we have removed entry out this is where a single move would have actually come in handy Oops. iterator no this as a comparison so not uh, yeah PID minus PID start M removed is already zero. All right. Yeah. So I can just use that as, okay, I can use that. Perfect. Okay. Multi move for the moment. We'll use the source. So M main storage. At this offset, count of one to end M removed store at M removed. Wait, hold on. If I'm moving forward, that does mean I'm actually possibly moving these things multiple times. So not great, not really.
No, it'd only be from the last one to where I am, right? Okay, no. Maybe if I just see it with my own eyes. If not equals zero. Multi move and storage. Last moved object. Uh, it's offset minus last moved. Last moved object. So, it's, so it doesn't move down on the first one, but it'll move down things on the next ones. And that should also mean I can do that at the very end as well, on the very last one. So, it'll all, so yeah, it, it should move everything only once still. Okay. Um... both of these uh, move to another loop increment Move to object equals offset plus one. So you have, yes. So one past where I am right now. That means <clears throat> otherwise, okay. We got the case where it's got to increment that. We got the case where it matches. Otherwise, we need to. Outside of the while loop, if last moved object not equal zero, which means we moved something in some time, which means we now need to shift things down. Move, we need to shift the last of the items, yeah. because we're going to the end. Moved object minus those that we've removed. And then finally, Now, there's probably some way I can synergize, like the removals and the insertions, so I move things even less. So not, so not, you know, once per, at most, I can move every object in the pool twice, once during the removal pass, once during the insertion pass. There may be a way to kind of synergize, so I just move once per maintenance cycle entirely. But 
I'm not going to do that right now. I, I'm having enough trouble trying to keep all this in my mind right now. But it's quite... I'm. It's swirling in my mind that it is, must be possible. But, but not now. Not now. So we have everything. Everything is contiguous in memory. Very nice and compact. So very easy to iterate through. Because the idea behind all of this is that the insertions and removals will be pretty rare operations, and it's better to have all the data nice, contiguous, and very quick and fast to iterate over. And especially by having the IDs all together, that means I can iterate through and find offsets incredibly fast because I'm only iterating over four, or if I expand them, eight bytes at a time rather than four bytes plus... Um, the size of the data, which can really just mess up the cache because you're moving like, you know, hundreds of bytes maybe per thing instead of just four. And then once you find what you're looking for, then you can go uh, to the offset of the other pointer, which can then be like large or small structs or whatever. Of course, this would probably probably not work out. If, I mean, if uh, all I have is like a... Uh, the ID and like a pointer, I may actually want a specialized pool just for that, which would just be the ID and the pointer together in memory because it's just such a small set anyways. I mean, what's the cache line? The cache line is like, what, 64 kilobytes? Not 64K, it's got to be something smaller than that. Could be. I forget, what was the cache line? Cash line size horizon, let's say. Somebody tell me. Eight megabytes of cache, yes, but what's the line size? Like how much does it work with at one time? It's like, I don't know. No one's going to give me an easy answer right off the bat. And there's the cache. Okay, yeah, there's no way it's 64K because that's like the size of the entire level one cache. It must be sm like probably like 64 bytes or something like that. Regardless, so 64 bytes will give me, you know, if I can divide it by four, like 16 offsets or 16 IDs, I can compare it before I have to go to another cache line. Rather than maybe just one or two or four. Or something like that. Like It, it, it gives me slightly faster reading, I would hope. That's what this is all pinned on, is hope, anyways. Until I benchmark, which should be soon, after I make sure that this thing actually works. Uh, which means I need to do this now. Alloc size. So this was this. Blamo. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Things went. That's a disappointing failure. 
That was it? Okay. Address issues. Come on. Okay, good. We have an error. Uh, where we are sitting... Okay, we have... We must have gotten stuck in a loop. Where? What do we even hear? No, this is insertion. Removals. Here we are. ID and iterator. Okay, we got those ones. This must be, it must be in here. I mean, where else could it possibly have gotten? PID in our um, iterator. No? Where are we getting stuck? Um, yeah, P data plus count. Um, where did this number come from? This is a very spooky number, very large, not right. Ah, yes, of course, because I never initialized it to zero, did I? No, I did not. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Okay, we're here now. Excellent. Failure. I like it. Why? Yes. Not the failure I was looking for. This is an actual failure in the test code, not the actual... Good, 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 good. We have failures. So this is between moving things from one to one. This looks quite right. Good. Good. So it's to do with multi-move, right? Multi-move is a broken. Okay, PID is one. That's what we're looking at. Or am I T is one, so we've got it right here. Moving this one over. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be, uh, oh, 
offset to yeah minus one that looks very bad okay okay no that's fine because it didn't actually <clears throat> Okay, so the problems, the values, not the ID. The IDs are fine. So, okay. It got to this point. So, what do I need? I need a static cast of. Or, I mean, what is it? It's a int type of some sort, right? Test type? It's an int. Okay, static cast of int. Star of. M removed store. M buffers one. And I want to star that. What's the value? Minus whatever. That's great. And then we do the same thing for two. Okay. Where am I? It was here. So here we do this, which is a multi move or offset of one, one, and that. See, that's that's very wrong. We got the ID right. No, we don't. No, actually, I might. Because that's a void star, right? So I need a plus one this in that, right? There we go. Okay. So the IDs are right. The data is not. Let me just double check. What I'm doing is like M main storage. Yeah. It's not being transferred over. Okay. So I wasn't actually using multi move in this one yet because I'm only adding. If I was to add a second set, then I would start having problems. Okay.
Uh, okay. Very interesting. Okay, uh, this one is where? This is on the insert pass. Don't care. We'll move pass. We do care. Okay. Okay, pause for siren. Unpause for siren ended. Okay, let's try this again. So actually what I probably want to do is go not this data end, but go this P data plus count. Be a little bit faster. That's uh, insert pass. Okay, great. Is that why nothing ever compiled in God Bolt? Probably. <laughs> now think about it. There we go. Look at that. Magic. I like it. Do it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no address issues. No, well, maybe there's address issues. It just doesn't pop up. No, there's just no address or leak issues. Okay. Okay. Near first try. Um, let's try the gold bolt th again, uh, thing again, if I can. Because what was... Yeah, it was supposed to be p data plus count. Is that the issue that I can't just kept running into like a idiot? Looks like it was just it was just detecting the fact that it would never be anything there ever. Okay. Okay, uh, shrinking this back down to just one test. Uh, I didn't mean to save that. Bring it back down to one. We get this, which is going with a comparison of those two things. So, and then we get this. So what? It, what is the test? It's just an int. What? That looks kind of ridiculous. What? Or is this just... This is ridiculous. Knew that. So I really would want to figure out an optimization for this so I don't have to do this move nonsense. Especially on types that are trivial, like an int type. Because if it's just an int, then I could just do literally the mem copy thing again. Like I, uh, I could just do this, where I go that, p data p destination data count time size of index type which is just even faster 
like that. Other than this, I mean, this, this blue section is just for that seems excessive. Okay, this is what, 94 total. And then just back down to int is even more. Unless, like, this one's just kind of going into a call elsewhere that I just don't know about. Hmm, probably. I type traits save me save me yeah this must be it is what's a fundamental type Arithmetic type, void, or null pointer. Hmm, okay. I guess there is, is trivially copyable. Is constructible, is trivially constructible, or is no throw constructible? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> deprecated already. Replaced with anything? I is trivial. Is this what? Scalar type, a trivially copyable class. Mm. Not looking for trivially copyable. I'm looking to see if I can just do mem copy on it, like a plain old data. Why is this gone?
both trivial and standard layout. Okay, standard layout. This. Good question. Types trivial and standard layout. Pod is equivalent to trivial and standard layout. Okay. So is trivial is what I'm looking for. To see if I can trivially just do a mem copy. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, whoops. I was going to use it here. Give me Okay, I need to move index type declaration up and out of there. If that, then I can just do this. Again, size of index type. which just shrinks it down to that into one function. Way better. Yeah, let's just like, do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, that's just. That's just it's bonkers fat better. So that's a nice little optimization I'll make right off the bat on move, multi-move, else, okay. Move this up.
actually, that also means if I was to, let's say, just wipe that out because that would basically be the same thing, right? And it would be. Yeah, okay, uh, so this specialization can just go away entirely right off the bat. That should also mean if, oh, we can also check uh, if it's even, if it even has a destructor, because I'll bet if it doesn't have a destructor, So I can probably, okay, uh, I have this. Let's just put it in a compiler and see what comes out. So do, 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 do. this, we're doing this, we're doing this right now. So main storage, start, so multi delete. It needs to be inside. So multi delete zero. Start at zero. That, 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 not this. Okay. That's already kind of doing absolutely nothing. Are you sure? If I have something, it will go through and call the, the deleter. But if it otherwise is just nothing, what about test? Test has nothing. It just returns. Okay, 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 okay. Compiler's doing a lot of nice work here. Which also means I don't need this again at all. Whatsoever. It'll just take care of itself. Nice. Same thing here. We wouldn't even, well, actually, in this case, I need to do this. If is trivially copyable. Ooh, no, 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 because the ID is split out here, isn't it? Yeah, again, stick it in the compiler, see what happens. single in place source that we're going to have an ID 12 int ID okay components which is currently a test okay 12 Like that, okay. And we've got to call single in place, which does that and then that. 
that's a trivially copyable. So you can detect for trivial copyable stuff for here. Just fine. Seemingly. It's fine on this one. So it was just the multi move with the uh, it can't figure out this properly. And rather, we want to do that. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Okay. No need to do anything else. This is nice. Single move. I mean. Yeah, I don't really think that'll do anything really. And same thing for single delete. Just move, delete, so in place. Now I'll just leave that specifier on it. Okay, how long are we do it? Uh, three hours. Okay, so it works. For the moment, it works. So I'm going to leave it there for now and call it a day because it's been almost five hours total five, six hours total. I'll split this into several parts. And then next time I'm going to do benchmarking up between this allocation data pool and the map data pool. And I just want to make sure like if I'm going to commit to using this kind of weird wonky nonsense that my assumption of how I'm going to be using memory is going to hold true that it will be faster. than otherwise. And then I'll also maybe try to benchmark between the multi and the single allocation, although I doubt there's a difference there. All right, cheers.